Today, for review two, it's going to be a Hoyo de Monterey Petit Robusto. So, uh, welcome back to Scotty Cigars. Today is, as you saw from the intro, going to be a Hoyo de Monterey um, Petit Robusto. It's probably um, up there with some of my favorite cigars, if I'm honest with you. It's a 50 ring gauge, uh, same as a Robusto, and as is the name, Petit Robusto. Uh, it's just simply shorter, so <clears throat> it is essentially a Hoyo de Monterey number two, but it has 20 odd mil, so best part of three quarters of an inch, taken off the end of it, so it's a shorter smoke. It's a, uh, a light smoke. Well, I say light, light to medium. It depends on the, it depends on the stick you get, because I've had some that are, are pretty medium, and I've had some which are fairly light. So, uh, be interesting to see what this is. It usually they're usually light to medium in their strength, but their flavour is extremely strong. Now that the overwhelming flavour or smell. <sighs> I like, I like, just, it just smells typically Cuban. Oh, light, musty, a bit like, um, I always describe it as camel shit. <clears throat> now, I've never smelled camel shit, but it just smells like, like, Western. Typically, it smells sweet. <sighs> it smells, it smells sweet. It's kicking out a lot of fragrance. Sometimes when a cigar is dry, it doesn't smell very flavoursome. And sometimes when they're really wet, they can smell very, well, <laughs> exactly that, damp. They can smell a bit damp. This is perfect. In terms of the wrapper, it's quite an, a light chocolatey colour. Um, and obviously the ring is nice and white. We're gonna have a problem with focusing again. There's not a lot of, in terms of veins on it. Uh, sometimes you can see when the humidity has gone up and down quite significantly uh, in, in when they've been stored because the wrapper starts to get a bit loose and you can actually see where the leaves are, are, are lining up, but that's pretty good. It's not bad. I think you pay about 11 quid for this now. So <clears throat> it's not a bad, it's not a bad smoke. And as I say, it's, it's up there with some of my favorites. So if I cut it, just take it a little bit off the, the end. Test score is good. I've barely taken anything off the top of that. Literally just taken the cap. Mm. It's nice, sometimes I like to bite a bit of the, the tobacco, the loose bits, and just chew it in my teeth. It just tastes lovely. Now, I learned my lesson last time. I should probably turn this down a touch. That's better. Toaster up. Probably still too too strong. So again, I've toasted it like a like a pyromaniac. So straight away, I'll try not to sound like a typical reviewer. I'll try and give you my honest opinion. That's that's strong. On the in terms of fragrance and aroma, that's kicking out. That's quite powerful.
Draws nice. It's probably a bit hot from the from the light in it so far because it's it's burnt down quite quick. First three or four millimeters. Um, but Hoya de Monterey, for me, are a go-to cigar when there's no wind, um, purely because it's a lighter cigar um, and you need to make the most of it. Um, but the Petit Robusto, if you've got an hour, 45 minutes, perfect size. If you want something a bit more girthy, you're feeling like, you know, to, to hold, to, to, to draw on, a lighter draw, something you can get a lot of fragrance and a lot of smoke straight through quickly. If you're feeling fruity, then obviously a wider ring gauge is nice, but you don't always want the full Robusto. So the Petit Robusto for me is really handy for midweek. We're now Tuesday um, and I'll come outside after going to the gym, um, after work and spend an hour out here before heading inside. Anyone can anyone can come home from the gym or come home from work and just sit on the sofa. You know, it's, it's nice to be able to come and relax and, and do something you, you enjoy outside other than just sitting on the sofa scrolling through your phone. Um, anyway, back to, back to the cigar. Um, Hoyo de Monterey for me, if, if you were to describe, if I was to describe it in one word, one flavor, it would be marzipan, it would be almonds. Absolutely, 100%. If someone said to me, Hoya de Monterey, I'd say almonds, marzipan, because that is the signature taste for me of, of a Hoya de Monterey. If you aren't too, if you're new, certainly if you're a beginner, this is the perfect cigar for you. If you are, going if for example your best man or you're at a wedding and you want five cigars for for, you, for your best man and groomsmen and ushers and things like that and none of them really smoke cigars but you want to enjoy a cigar because it's a special occasion Hoya de Monterey Petit Robusto 11 quid a piece Cuban cigar real Cuban cigar um, you cannot cannot go wrong um, they're, ba they're basically they're a great cigar, which is why it, it's up on my up on my list. The flavors are nice, um, sweet, uh, creamy. It's not it's not not to be confused with buttery. It's creamy. It's not like a Monte Cristo number two, which for me is is ultimately. If you were to ask me, you know, Monte Cristo number two, it's buttery. This is this is just lovely. So. I continue on with this for a bit and uh, when we come towards the the end I have I've kind of overcharred it <sighs> so nice it smell it smells so good yeah a brilliant a, a brilliant cigar All, always I've never had any problems with the burns on them the burns have always been really great. They've always been even. If they've gone out, it's because they're either too humid in the humidor or there's a problem with the manufacturer. But there's, it's very rare I've ever had a, a Hoya de Monterey. I mean, to touch it, it's even, evenly soft everywhere. There's no hard points. There's no knots in it. Um, it's a great little go-to cigar, especially for midweek. So... Yeah, I'll crack on through this and uh, I'll see you towards the end. So about, um, I'm over two thirds of the way through, uh, probably just coming up to three quarters in all honesty. And as I said, as I said previously, when we lit the cigar, um, it's, a, it's a great cigar. It hasn't gone out. The burn has been even, the combustion has been great. It's been kicking out loads of smoke. Um, it's, it's probably stronger than a lot of the other previous ones I've had. Um, I, I have no idea why. They're, they're, all, they're all different. I'll be honest with you, this comes from a box uh, from 2014. Um, March 2014. So it's got, it's got about three years age on it. But they just, they just keep getting better. Um, can't argue with the Hoya de Monterey, especially that value. Uh, the Petit Robusto is great. 
if you get a chance, try one. Um, it's been probably about 50 minutes now. Um, so, yeah, nothing I can say. If I was to mark it out of 10, um, it's hard because each environment and situation is different. Sometimes you feel like one cigar more than the other. Um, and in this situation, on a week night, this cigar gets between an eight and a half and a nine out of 10. It just suits the situation perfectly. It suits the environment. There's no wind in the shed here. That there's, it's, it's not a cold evening, but it's not warm. It's, you know, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. So if you get a chance, buy one. For the sake of a tenner, buy one and try it. Cheers. So I hope you enjoyed um, the second review of the Hoyo de Monterey Petit Robusto. If you um, liked the review, um, I tried to make them no nonsense, uh, just completely my personal opinion. As previously mentioned, each cigar is different. Um, each, every, everyone is different, regardless. Uh, someone will get one particular taste and another person will get another. Um, but if you like the review, please subscribe. I'll put the little subscription thing up there. Um, and I've got some other reviews over here. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And if there's anything you'd like me to review particularly and get my opinion on, please feel free um, to comment below.